Hi there. Today I'm going to read you another nonfiction book so we can get some more facts about sea turtles for this week. Um, this book is called Sea Turtles. It's a scholastic book and it's by Lydia Carlin. Fun fact really quick before I start reading, and this will tell you lots of different facts about sea turtles. When Miss Aldridge was in junior high, I was seventh grade, I wanted to be a marine biologist, and a marine biologist studies all the um, animals in the ocean. So, hope you may spark your interest in ocean animals. Chapter one, meet the sea turtle. Wow, look at that sea turtle go. It is a sensational swimmer. Let's learn all about this amazing ocean animal. And this one is actually the green sea turtle, even though it doesn't look green. Here's a fun fact for you. Fish can breathe underwater, but reptiles need to breathe air. And guess what? Sea turtles live mostly underwater, but they have to come up for air. That's because sea turtles are not fish. They are reptiles, just like crocodiles. Sea turtle parts. This is um, a loggerhead sea turtle. Sea turtles have hard shells to protect their bodies. The top of this shell is called the carapace, and the bottom of this shell is the plastron. So we have the eye that's right here. Um, they have a beak. They don't have any teeth, so they have to have this real strong beak. They have big, huge front flippers, and they have claws on their back ones, but the back, this is the top of the shell and then the underneath side. Sea turtles have special eyes to help them see underwater. They have sharp beaks to grab food. But guess what? Sea turtles don't have any teeth. Just like I told you. A sea turtle's beak is similar to a bird's beak. So if you look at, this is a loggerhead sea turtle, or green sea turtle. You see that it has a smaller one. Beak. And then if you look at the parrots down here, that little beak. So they can tear at their food. There are seven species, seven, of sea turtles. They live all over the world except where the um, water is really icy. They don't live in any type of really, really cold water. There's the green sea turtle, the leatherback sea turtle, the loggerhead sea turtle, the Kemp's Ridley sea turtle, the Hawksbill sea turtle, the flatback sea turtle, and the olive Ridley sea turtle. Take a look at each different kind. Unlike other sea turtles, or unlike other turtles, sea turtles spend almost all of their time in the ocean. What else makes sea turtles special? Well, that they have flippers. This is a green sea turtle. There's their big flippers. This is a regular turtle, so they're trying to show you a sea turtle and a regular turtle. There's a difference. They have flippers, they do not. Sea turtles are super swimmers. They swim by flapping their flippers like a bird's wings. The special shape of the shell helps them speed through the water. Some turtles can swim more than 20 miles per hour. Wow. And they flap their flippers like a bird. Sea turtles use their sharp beaks to crush food. The loggerhead sea turtle in this picture is munching on a lobster. Sea turtles are really great divers as well. They dive deep down to search for food. Some sea turtles can hold their breath underwater for five hours. Wow, that's a long time. Green sea turtles are herbivores. That means they only eat underwater plants. But most sea turtles are carnivores, you guys. That means they eat other animals, like they have shrimp, they love crabs, we saw lobster, but their favorite thing to eat, jellyfish. Mother sea turtles. This is a mother loggerhead sea turtle. 
Mother sea turtles swim hundreds of miles just to find the right spot to lay their eggs. Then they crawl out of the water and onto the beach. Mother sea turtles are very picky about choosing a place to lay their eggs. A lot of them even go back to the exact same spot where they were born. Many loggerhead sea turtles lay their eggs in the state of um, Florida, which is on the other side of the coast, but they're very famous for going to these warm waters here to lay. The mother sea turtle digs a shallow hole in the sand. This is her nest. Next, she lays about 100 eggs. The eggs are about the size of ping pong balls. Wow. So she crawls all the way up onto land, way up onto land, digs a nest, a hole, and lays all of her legs. And then the mother turtle covers her eggs with the sand, and then she drags her tired body back into the water and swims away. Mother sea turtles leave their nests behind. Reptiles do not care for their young. The sun keeps the nest warm. After nine weeks, the eggs hatch. Crack, crack, crack. Welcome to the world, baby sea turtles. The babies emerge from their underground nest a few days later. They are so tiny. They're even smaller than mice. And newborn babies are called hatchlings. They're super tiny. In this picture, a group of baby sea turtles goes to the ocean. Hurry, hurry! The baby sea turtles scurry down the beach in a big group. They need to rush to get to the ocean. Why do you think they need to rush to hurry and get to the water? Hmm. Because the land is very dangerous for these little guys. They become snacks for predators. They must get away from them that want to eat them like seagulls, raccoons, crabs, foxes. Splash! In the ocean, baby sea turtle goes to grow and grow. They will become 1,000 times bigger than they are now, and one day they will be all grown up. Did you know that some sea turtles can live to be more than 80 years old? Wow. That's really old, you guys. Well, I hope you enjoy our book and facts on sea turtles, and maybe you might want to be a marine biologist after learning all this stuff.